Good afternoon, everybody. Just getting ready to start working some ground. This field here got dissed, but we still got way too much residue on top. It's not good for planting. Gonna have to get that worked in a little better. Hello. Ah, this will be the first time I've been in a tractor this year. Well, first time working ground. Let's get ready to work ground. Whoa, what's that? Where'd that come from? Look at that. Blue? Not even dirty over here. I mean, if it's back there, guess I might as well use it, right? I think so. thing of beauty isn't it actually before we can get to work salesman's got to come help me get it set up it is a little windy out here so i hope you guys can hear me but these closing discs right here are adjustable in their height and i honestly don't know if they're set in the right position or not sadly we're gonna have to wait a minute i mean for you it'll only be a second it'll be like and then we're there. Well, we finally got her all set up. Uh, had made a few changes on the disc out there, on the closing disc, but we are working about eight, about right around eight inches and pulling it no problem. I was a little curious if this tractor was gonna struggle, just it has the skinny tires on it. This tractor isn't really weighted up because we put it in the spud rows, so we don't want the weight. But yeah, five, six, bow on her. We're using the most available horsepower, but not really in the torque rise too much, so that's good. Oh, look at that beast. Going to town. try it bump it up we got it up to six mile an hour we're still pulling 14 and a half gallons an hour power still looking good looking good behind us man she does a good job look at that beautiful I guess the true test will be when we pull in and start planting grain here to see what the seed beds like but from what I'm seeing and walking back on it I think we're gonna be pretty happy one problem I am noticing is holder for the hoses. I'm getting right up. Yeah, I've hit right there. It's a fresh scratch. Hit it right here on the corner. Yeah, you can see the little green paint. Uh, looks like it's already rocked all the way back. Ah. I wonder if I could move it up to this hole really lay this thing down only one way to find out dang it well that's not gonna work i thought it would but yeah that hole is not gonna line up and as I'm folding it back, we're hitting against the hoses right here, the way they have the hoses routed. Yeah, probably gonna have to drill another hole, change the way this is, move all this. I mean, if it's a shorter, I don't know. I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do, but yeah, definitely gonna have to make a change. Well, now that we have this thing all set up, I've actually got some other things I gotta go take care of. So we're gonna shut down for tonight. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, hit it hard, see if we can get all the way through this. Uh, I should be able to. It's only 60 acres. It shouldn't be that big a problem, but a lot of turnaround. Oh, we'll see where we get, but shut her down. Good morning, everybody. Just getting down here to the field. Oh, there you are. 
It is windy outside. I mean, you guys can't see it, but it is cold. Oof. Like, yeah, really cold. Okay, not really cold, but for this time of year, there we go. Yeah, 32 degrees. We're gonna go work some ground and attempt to move some wheel lines. Yeah, moving wheel lines in this probably isn't a good idea, but I wanna get this field worked. Decisions. Just a little bit of wind, not much. Woo! Holy, holy cow, give some heat. Heat. <sighs> Gotta move the wheel line down here. And I don't wanna drop first wheels to work the ground. So I think I'm gonna move my truck. I'll just work this in and roll the wheel line on it. It's probably the best plan. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't worry about it. Now comes the fun part. We got the ends worked right here. I'm gonna try to do wheel on, go do wheel lines. See what happens, I guess. I'm not excited. Not excited at all. Woo! to hold the drive lines. Dang, it's cold out there. Whew, that wind. Glad we replaced those drive lines. I don't know that I would have dared move that thing uh, right now without new drive lines. These are the ones that Skyrim came down and replaced on that wheel line and those ones down there yeah one of those broke right now there's no way you're stopping it you saw well i don't know if you could see very well but as soon as i turned the motor off and pulled out the disengagement on the drive it just started spinning drive lines and rolling backwards i had to hurry and put those vice grips on to keep it from rolling so yeah break a drive line yeah we're pretty much hosed if we break the drive line that's the end of it for us. It just roll until it stops. Good thing we did some maintenance. Not fooling around. Let's get to work. Oh, hey, baby. Looking good back there. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I've got another idea. Since these hose pieces, whoo, sticks out so far on this side, it all sticks out this way, but not that way. I'm gonna try and bolting it and bolting it on the other side and just see if that would just give me just an ever so slightly better turning radius. Just a little tweak, something to help you turn a little sharper. It's getting hard to skip a pass and come in. I almost have to skip two passes when I turn this way. Anyways, don't worry about it. I'm going to try it. Oh yeah. I think that should give me a little more clearance when I turn. Guess we'll find out when I get down to the other end. Whew. Rolling that back right there. That shiny piece holding the hoses. Uh, gave me a little bit more turning room than I was needing. I can actually get into the passes, I'm not hooking my end so bad. I can actually get pretty straight before I put it in the ground, which I don't like silo and shanks. I don't like turning with it in the ground, so that's been helpful. Yeah, we're, we're covering some ground. Still blowing like crazy out there. Not near as cold. So far, still liking it. Still looking impressive. I think we're gonna be happy that we took the plunge or not. I'm happy. I 
it to the wind line. It's in our way. <sighs> we could go for a walk in the wind. At least it isn't as cold. Still windy. Good news is, we're gonna roll that thing with the wind. A lot less likely to break anything, in theory. Got the build worked, we're just doing ends now. I already done my first pass. Also got the boys with me. How you guys doing? Hi. All right. How are you doing, Rat? Okay. Sure is nice having a wider working distance than what we had on that uh, BMI. It's only 14 feet and I got this set up at 16.2, I believe. Yeah, 16.2, so that and bell the pole a little faster. Not bad. We got mostly done today. Well. We will have it done today, but it's not even a full day to do it. That's it. Field's finished. Uh, had a little fun moving this wheel line. I don't know if you can see, but the torque wheel fell off, and now the transmission's sticking. Well, torque wheel, other torque wheels sticking clear up in the air. Yeah. But the field's done. Worked. Ready to be planted. Baby blue here. I don't know if that's what we name it, but oh crap. Did a good job. I've actually got to go help Philip fix a pivot, um, or else I'd take this back to the shop, but I'll have to come back and get it in the morning. And it's too windy outside, so I can't talk to you out there. So this is it, me signing off. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later. <laughs> you gotta have him park. There we go. That's better. Sorry, commercial radio. My usual problems. And everything's beeping at me. Ah, oh, I'm trying to drive. I can't drive and talk to you guys. That sounds safe. Well, this is it. Last day. You got a word, Skyler? He's speechless. He's sad. He's leaving. He doesn't really want to go.